All right, in this video I want to talk more about rod and cone cells, and this time I want to talk about the similarities and differences, but highlighting the differences actually of the rods and cone cells, and what's the difference between these. So, first of all, rod cells are capable of functioning in less intense light. Okay, the rod cells are what allow you to see at night, essentially. They allow you to see under low light conditions. Um, and they're responsible for your black and white vision, okay, for your non-color vision, and your vision at night. So that's one thing. The cone cells require much more intense light to function, okay, so in order for a cone cell to be stimulated, you need more intense light, okay, that's something that's not required for um, rod cells. So you need more intense light for it to function, and it's responsible for your color vision and vision during the daylight hours. All right, so vision when there's high light conditions, essentially. So rod cells, low light conditions, cone cells, um, high, you know, high intensity light conditions, um, where there's plenty of light to uh, reach those cells. And the rod cells are actually washed out. Okay, so they're washed out. They're no longer functioning the way they normally would when they're flooded with light. Okay, so that's why they're they're only working and doing what they need to do during the um, during the night or low light conditions. And rod cells contain only one type of light sensitive pigment, okay? So that's important because that one type of light sensitive pigment is the reason you don't see any color vision with these rod cells, okay? That's the reason why at night, under very low light conditions, everything appears black and white, okay? Everything appears black, white, and gray. There's no real color. If you've ever noticed that before, I don't know. Um, so it only contains one type of light sensitive pigment and the cone cells contain three types of light sensitive pigments okay and there and that is the pretty much the reason why you're able to see color vision because you have these three different light sensitive pigments and it helps you to distinguish the different between the different colors okay and rod cells are capable of sharp focusing okay that's kind of an interesting thing rod cells are capable of this um our rod cells are not capable rather of sharp focusing while cone cells are capable of short focus uh, sharp focusing rather and what the interesting thing really is is that these rod cells are really good at sensing motion they're really good at motion detection that might have been a really important skill in our evolutionary past if you think for a second about you know at night predators, um, not a lot of light, very low condition, low light condition. So, so it kind of makes sense, evolutionarily speaking, that these rod cells are very good at sensing motion detection. Although I just want to reiterate that the rod cells are not capable of sharp focusing, while the cone cells are capable of sharp focusing. 